Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're starting a brand new series on the channel today. We're going to play some of the Age of Engineering mod pack. We're going to be playing in single player. Now, the Age of Engineering mod pack is a little different than anything we've played before because the... I guess play through is divided up into 15 different ages and you're sort of forced to progress through those one at a time. You start at the Stone Age and I don't remember what the the last age is. Maybe it's like the Age of Dragons or something like that. We'll have to take a look once we get in here. But in any case, I've got a brand new world set up. I've downloaded the Age of Engineering mod pack from the Twitch slash curse launcher. The world name is going to be AOE SSP single player. And then under more world options, here's the seed that I'm using. Nope, not that AoE. <laughs> There's another game out there called Age of Empires from back in the day that's easy to get confused with. So let's jump in here. And we're going to have to do some of the basic first day of Minecraft stuff. You guys know how that works. We've got to get some wood. we got to make a crafting bench. we got to get some table, make a crafting table, make some other odds and ends, and see if we can't find ourselves a place where we can spend the night. Come on, game. Hello? Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Should be coming in. Man, it takes a while to load this world. I guess maybe the first time it's got to build a bunch of terrain and stuff like that. All right, so we've got some dark oak there. That's kind of cool. Check out our little area. Is that Pam's? Uh, coffee beans. Okay, it's actually addition stuff. Okay. So here we are. Brand new world. Brand new mod pack. I want to try to get myself settled in here before we start going too crazy. I don't want to be doing too much jumping around we got to get a food source settled there's some sheep so maybe we can get ourselves oh that sheep was like he was like moonwalking or something let's get a little bit of wood we'll make a crafting table we'll make some tools we'll see if we can't grab some of the initial resources and then we'll see if we can't hole up for the night and then we'll sort of talk through what this mod pack is all about so it's essentially base config. I haven't made any changes to everything. The mods that are in here are what the mods are. And the cool thing about it, let me show you something really quick. Like let's say I want to make a hmm a, a battery. Okay? Let's say I want to make one of these batteries from actually additions, right? So it you can see that to be able to make man, be quiet, sheep. Hold on a second. I'm trying to talk to people. Music and sounds. Hi friendly creatures. Let me turn this down just a hair. Done. Back to game. Okay. So let's say I want to make a battery. You can see that the recipe has been modified a little bit and it requires an energy module from something called the calculator mod. So the recipes are sort of there. I guess the difficulty of these recipes have been increased a little bit. But you'll see that to create that I need a power cube and I need a scientific calculator. There's also this thing called an analyzing chamber that I can potentially use. So the idea here is you sort of have to do these one at a time. You can't just sort of rush towards the end, which you know makes me kind of happy. I like that. Now the most important reason that I'm playing this mod pack is deep within this mod, one of the ages we're going to get to in the relatively near future is going to, well I mean it might be the distant future I guess, is going to be the advanced rocketry mod. If you watch the end of my Forever Stranded episodes, you know that I was really loving that mod, but you know, by that time we were just sort of worn out from playing. Let's make a, a, a couple more odds and ends here. Let's do this, this, and nope, this, and this, and then we'll get so all the tools we need. Okay, so there we go. Let's get this picked up real quick, and we got to get some more wood. I also want to get some stone. There's an apple. We'll use that to eat. Yummy. Perfect. Then we got to find a place to live for the night. Let's go over here and see if we can't find some more oak trees. I don't really want to get in the middle of chopping down any of those dark oaks at the moment. You guys know how I like to do. I don't. I don't like to leave like blocks hanging in the air or partially tree chopped down. None of that kind of stuff. I also need to fix that mini map. It feels like it's a little bit big. So we'll get that fixed. There's a little bit more wood. Is there another oak tree? Like a smaller one that we can chop down? somewhere close I don't know let's walk over this way that looks like maybe a swamp over there there's some mushrooms that's good oh right down there there's some stone let's go grab some stone and we'll at least get enough to get a couple things so 
the first age in this mod pack, which I guess makes sense, is the Stone Age. And collecting your first piece of cobblestone sort of activates that age. As soon as we get to the point where we're a little bit stable here, we'll go in and take a look at some of these mods. There's a guide that you can look at. I'm not sure exactly how to open that guide, but we'll figure that out. Let's grab some more. I want to get a furnace. I want to get some stone tools. We'll throw away these wooden ones that we have. Get some more wood, maybe. You know, just standard kind of first day of a new world type stuff. Uh, 23, that's probably enough. Okay, how about we go take out a couple sheep. Get yourself dead. Okay, there's some... Oh, we got a little bit of food, that's good. Okay. Uh, oh, nice black lotus. Oh, my lord. Hey, there's like a funny looking guy down there. We don't want to mess with that guy. I think we're going to set up shop maybe here on the plains. I just have to find a spot to sort of punch in and see if I can't get myself settled. I, was, man, I wish I'd found some coal. We'll grab some of these chickens. Yep. Let me see. Do I have enough wool? Let me kill another white sheep. We can make a bed then with that. We're definitely going to need some more... Need some more... Um, wood so we can get a couple things going oh yeah 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 i think you guys are gonna love this series um dire wolf has been playing it and i was i sort of got fired up about this series when i was watching some of his most recent episodes i hadn't been following the series that much but but then when when i saw that his most recent episodes man he was in space i'm like man i gotta figure this mob pack out you gotta take a look at it and see what the deal is and then i saw that it has advanced rocketry and man i knew that we were going to be playing some age of engineering for sure okay plenty of food plenty of wool let's see if we can't find a little spot where we can dig into the ground and create like a temporary little house here's a little bit of some saplings i'll use those maybe just right down here it's like a little like protected clove area Co clove no cove that's the word that we're trying to say okay so let's get in here and we'll just start oh man if i had some coal man coal would be really nice i can't make charcoal through the natural way because this mod um, it's different. You can't just burn a log and get a piece of charcoal. You have to make it, I think, in a coke oven, which we're going to figure out in just a minute. Man, is there any surface coal around here? It's a weird, like, structure. Of course, I'm walking away from where my little house was going to be. There's a squid. Yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, there's some coal right there. Okay. Let's dig down and grab this coal. Right, let's get some dirt on our bar. Oh, don't fall into that hole. There we go. And then we'll go like so. And grab a couple pieces of coal. Just so we can make some torches. Because, man, you guys don't want to see how dark and gloomy the world is. Okay. Maybe just get a couple pieces. I don't know. I almost want to grab all of this. But I need to get inside because I think it's going to be nighttime. We've been playing for about 8 minutes now. Some of that was the intro screen. So I don't. I think I have a little bit of daylight left. I need to get some of this food cooked up. And get some get some food in my belly. Oh man. I always love first first couple minutes. Days of, of a new world in Minecraft. Man I love it. Okay. Let's go there. There. Okay, are we back out? Okay. Now, where was our little hole that we built? I think it's over this way. Yeah, I think it's right over here. I hope. <laughs> if not, we may be creating a new hole. Let's eat this apple. Gives a little bit of health back. Yeah, I think it's over here in the plains. Oh, over there, maybe, in that little cove? Okay. Let's head back over there, and we'll get punched into the wall, and then we'll make a torch or two, get it lit up, we'll dig it out, and then we'll set up a little bit of a shop, you know, a little temporary base. Yeah, right over there it was. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, so let's run over there. we got to definitely get a furnace going, and we got to cook up some of this meat. Okay, where's my thing? All right, perfect. Let's dig out a little bit. Let's get in here. I'd like to make a door so we can protect our new house that we have. Okay, uh, I do have a stick. Perfect. Let's do like this and like that. Okay, and we'll just stick this up on the wall there. And we'll 
sort of dig out this way. Okay. All right, let's get our crafting bench back down. We'll just stick it right here for now. We're going to move this. Let's turn this all into that. Let's make a furnace immediately so we can get that going. Hot topic. Yeah, yeah, that's how I do. And we'll get that, and we'll get that, and we'll put three pieces of coal in there and get that cooking up. Hey, that seems... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. All right, and now let's make a couple more sticks. Let's get ourselves another pick. Yep. Let's get ourselves a shovel. Like so. Perfect. All right, let's grab these back out. I'm also going to go out here. Let's clear out some of this dirt. And let's get a, uh, a couple of these trees planted, just so we have a little source of wood. We don't have to go too crazy. We're not going to make... We'll eventually make an official kind of shaped out tree farm. But I just want to get these, these saplings planted. Okay. Okay. So let's keep digging this area out. So as we've talked about already, the mods sort of progress, I guess, logically through. So um, I don't know how to get the guide. I think it's... Um, here, the guide. Okay, so we have Age of Engineering. So the first age that we're going to be in is Stone Age. So the first thing you may have noticed is that you can't smelt ores into ingots. Well, we haven't done that yet. We haven't found any. And you can't smelt wood logs into charcoal. You'll need to get a Tinker's Construct smeltery and a Coke oven for that, respectively. Before you go mining, though, it's re recommended that you make a portal to the mining world. The portal needs at least 10 portal frames placed like another portal and activated with the mining multi-tool. Okay, then the first goal is a Tinker's Construct Smeltery. As usual, you need to gather clay, sand, gravel to craft grout. Okay, using Tinker's Construct tools is recommended for that. As you can't craft a bucket to get lava to fire the smeltery, you can get a one-time use clay bucket filled with lava. Also, you don't have gold for ingot casts, but you can use aluminum brass. Okay, after that, you need to build a Coke oven. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a couple things. First of all, let's get a door on our little house, man. It's getting to be nighttime out there. That could be trouble. We don't want to have like a bunch of mobs come rolling in here. Let's go out here and put that there and close the door. And let's expand our little area here. Definitely. We're going to need some cobblestone for sure. There's some coal right there. Awesome. I love that. We'll have some food cooked up here in just a minute. And how big is this? We need this to be wider than this, I think, for sure. Grab this coal, and that's huge. Getting that coal this early on. So, I mean, obviously, coal is a is a valid food or a fuel source. You just can't. There's some recipes that have been disabled. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, let's go one more this way, and then we'll start working our way backwards. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see how much we can clear this out. I think I could probably go up a block as well. It's going to be pretty cool. I don't know what that is. Oh, does it tell me? Tin ore from a mod called Neotech. I have no idea what Neotech is. I've never played with that mod. So we may have to see if we can't figure out what, what that's all about. Let's get a little bit of light in here. All right, so this is good for the moment. I want to spend a little bit of time looking at couple things and then I guess it's time to make this portal to the mining age and I'll put this back there one two three four five okay that's good okay yeah let's break out the rest of this just these last couple pieces I'm also gonna gather that coal don't worry I'm not gonna leave it laying we definitely need to get that coal picked up for sure also want to make a bed so I can I guess a set my spawn but also, let's go ahead and do that now. How about we make a bed like so? I don't know if the mobs have been like changed in this mod pack to make them like more sketchy, but we'll see. All right, let's sleep through the night real quick. We got our spawn set, which is pretty awesome. Okay, there we go. I guess it's daytime out there now. Have my trees grown? Nope, I don't see any bad guys either. Okay, so let's take a look at this whole guide thing and see what we've got going on here. So... Stone Age, and then you can see there's 14, I guess, different ages. Creative Age, Draconic, Mechanical, Space. See, that's one of the ones we want to get to. But, for example, Stone Age, we're going to have to get materials, ore processing, all those different things. And then we can move into the Industrial Age. 
And this item that's right here, so this this engineering hammer, or this is not engineering, it's a, uh, I don't know what hammer that is. But we have to make that guy, and then we open the industrial age, if you see that. And then we've got at automation, nuclear, atomic, new age, technological, space, mechanical, draconic, and then creative. So I guess really 15 ages if you start with zero with Stone Age. So as we talked about a minute ago, we need to get a Tinker's Construct Smeltery, but it says we should make a portal to the mining world. So let's take a look and see what that is. It feels dark in here. Do I want to like raise this up a level? I think so. We also need to get a farm going. Oh man, we have so much work to do. But I think I'd like to go see if we can't get this portal to the mining age done. And then we'll see how much time we've got left in this episode to do whatever else we need to do. I have a feeling... Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know what the recipe is for that mining multi-tool. But we'll figure it out in just a second. Oh, hello. Hey, do I have... um? Uh, yeah, turn that off. Okay, there we go. All right, let's dig out a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at mining multi-tool. Um, this, okay? So we need some cobblestone, we need some flint, we need a stone pickaxe, and a stick. Okay, so we have we got a flint? No, we haven't seen any gravel. Uh, let's get ourselves make this a little bit, a little bit more secure here. How about like something like that? See so we can't secure ourselves just a little bit better than having dirt. Okay, there's that, and then that. That's better. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can find some gravel. Oh, um, let me get some food out of my furnace here and we'll eat a little something there we go while we've while we're back here let's move this guy let's put it back here by our crafting table i have a feeling we're probably going to need more furnaces than this but that's a good start for us okay so let's go out here with the goal let's move this out of the way let's put this over here it's always where i like to have my food and let's a tree that's grown let's get our sword over here yeah okay all right now we're looking for gravel there's a beehive we don't want to get too close to that we're going to get stung oh, is this gravel it is okay let's try to drown here oh get up there okay good oh my shovel has scared me a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more gravel. I think I can make a piece of gravel out of, uh, or make a piece of flint out of gravel, actually. So, that might not be too bad of a deal. Okay, do I want to try to get some more? I don't know how much gravel I actually need. Oh, there's a piece of flint. Okay, perfect. Let's grab that. Okay, there's some clay, which is pretty handy to have it right nearby. All right, we'll come back and grab some of that whenever we're at that point. All right, let's see what we need to do to get our portal to the mining age fired up on this mod pack. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Okay, so so how do we use this thing? All right. Um, all right, portal frame. So we need some mo we need some stone bricks it looks like and we just put that in there. Okay. All right, so we need to cook up some cobble. Let me see. Let's get 14 going. One, two, three, four, five, 14. Nope, we got to do 16 because we got to make stone bricks. Okay, and we'll put two pieces of coal in there and let that run. Perfect. Okay, and then let's see if we can't make this mining multi tool. We have to actually make it. So we need one of these guys, easy, right? We'll use that. And I think the recipe is um, simple it's like this and this, this and a piece of flint. There we go. Mining multi-tool. Awesome. I don't really know what you use this for. We can make a dimension changer. We can do like stuff on it. What's it for? Can we actually mine with it? Not really. I mean, it doesn't appear that we can mine with it. It's a little strange. Alright, let's let that stone cook up. We'll grab this little bit of coal. We might jump off camera. I mean, there's no reason for you guys to sit around and watch a smelter run. It depends on how fast it is. I'd like to make a portal to that mining age and at least get in there, and then we'll see about gathering some supplies for a smeltery. 
Okay, there's that. Okay. All right, what do we have for blocks? I mean, I don't want to use gravel. Or we'll make we'll fill this floor back out with cobblestone. Hopefully, we'll be able to move into a, a better base before too much longer. Okay, there's half of that done. Anything else I need to do? I think I need to probably go out and grab some wood. So I tell you what, let me jump off camera. I'm going to farm up some wood. Got my stone uh, wood axe. We might as well use it until it breaks. I mean, we're not in any big hurry. So I'm going to farm up some wood. Get, you know, like half a stack would be good. Maybe a couple saplings. I can also probably rearrange this tree farm and make it a little, you know, a little better, I think. Uh, we still got plenty of time. I also need to turn clouds off. I would rather have oak, though, than dark oak. I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I don't see any of the Pam's Harvest stuff, so Pam's must not be in this mod pack, which I'm actually okay with. Do I want to chop down one of these guys? I think so. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take one of these guys out. Let me go off camera. I'm going to do a couple things. One is I'm going to pre-gather some gravel. I'm going to let the rest of that stone cook up. And then whenever it's ready and we can turn into stone bricks, I'll bring you back. We'll make the portal to the mining age. And we'll go check it out together. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends. We are back. I think I have enough stone. I mean, I need to make some chests. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that, man, I am not the most organized person ever. But we're going to try to maybe turn over a new leaf here a little bit and see if we can't keep ourselves fairly organized. So let's put all of this kind of stuff in there. Any, like, bio-related stuff. Get some experience. I guess that was for mining coal. Okay. And let's make another set of chests. One, two, three, four. Okay. And we'll keep one for like blocks. Actually, let's make um, one, two, three, four. Let's make a couple more sets here. Let's try to keep ourselves organized if we possibly can. So we'll go like that. And then we'll put one like over here before, right by the door where we come in. Okay. So this one we're going to keep like minerals in. All right. So this guy we're going to consider wool as being bio related. Okay, and then this guy will keep different blocks. So I got some sand, I got some more gravel, um, stone I have. We'll put wood in there. We'll just put all of that stuff in there. And dirt. Okay, okay. All right, so we have this. We have these guys. Let's turn these into stone blocks or stone bricks, and then we can go like this. We should be able to make these portal blocks now. Portal frame. Okay, Ooh, let's get this guy back. Hello, okay. And let's get this thing. All right, so we want to make like a real portal. Um, I mean, I guess we could just go. Let's move our bed. Let's put our bed over here, maybe. Okay. So it's going to be, we need four. All right, so let's go one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's see. So one, two, uh, is that right? Yeah, okay. So there's a portal, right? The same size as another portal. And I would assume we just click on it with this guy. Oh, okay. To go through the portal, you have to sneak in it. Okay. Um, okay, let's just put couple things away. There's these extra portal blocks. I guess we don't need that. We'll stick that in there as well. Okay, let's go in and see. Oh, sneak. All right, let's go sneaking in. All right, we're loading up a new world here. And it appears to be like a flat plane. Okay, there's some uh, guys over there. What are those? Those are chickens. <laughs> That's what those are. There's some cows. So we can get some food over here. Lots of grass laying around. So I guess there's just, it's just like a world. I don't think there's anything like too fancy about it. Obviously we'll need to come over here and get ourselves a mine set up because we're going to have to do some serious mining. But okay. I mean, I'm down with this, right? There's like a couple little holes there. Is that like a cave? Let's see. No, not really. Just where our portal got spawned. Little hole. I guess we could probably go like that. I wonder if it's like always daytime here or something. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't appear that the sun's moving. Okay. 
Well, there we go. There's our mining world. That's pretty cool. So let's go back through here, and we'll get back hopefully to our base. It hopefully doesn't take us to spawn. Yeah. Okay, we're back at the base. Awesome. All right. Okay, so there we go. We've got essentially our first sort of quest done. Now we've got to get a Tinker Smeltery going on. So let's take a look here at the recipe for grout. Man, we should know it after all this time. So we need clay, we need sand and gravel. Okay, pretty simple. I hear a bad guy outside come rolling around. Let's sleep through the night again. I tell you what, let me jump off camera. I'm going to do gather, I'm going to gather up some of these raw materials. Man, you've seen this a million times before. I'm going to gather up a bunch of the raw materials I need for grout, and then I'll start getting them smelted up, and then we'll come back. We'll see if we can't put together this smeltery, and we'll see if we can't process. We have some tin ore. We also need to do some mining for sure. Maybe I'll work on some of that stuff off camera. We don't need to show every single phase of a brand new world, especially when we're dealing with tinkers, right? So we got to go mining to get some ores. We need to get the stuff we need for tinker smeltery. One thing that I would like to look at, though, is a coke, coke brick. Yeah. So I need lava wood to make a coke brick. Okay. Seared brick. That's pretty simple and then lava wood and to do lava wood we need half a bucket or a quarter of a bucket of lava poured over a dark plank inside a casting or a, over a plank in a casting basin okay so it sounds like we need to get some iron so we can make a bucket so we can start storing up lava to start working through that so let me do a little bit of grinding off camera man you know how it works got to get it done and i'll see you in just a second Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Man, I've been doing some serious grinding. I have a bunch of gravel, a bunch of sand, a bunch of clay. I've got to make these into clay blocks. And then we'll see how much grout we can make. And then I guess we're going to have to get it smelted up. 64 of those. That's pretty good. All right, let's see. Grout. Then we need to make a bunch of that. Let's see. I bet we can make a ton. Yeah, boy. Okay, that's perfect. All right, let's put this all in the furnace I'm gonna try to make a fairly good size smelter if we can I'll put these guys in here take out these chickens just cooking up a little food all right let's get some coal I've got some uh, that's probably gonna be enough one two three four five six seven eight all right let's um Okay, there's eight in there, there's eight in there, there's eight in there, and then I guess we're just going to need two. Yeah, I'm getting low on coal. All right, so those guys are all cooking up. I mean, we're in pretty good shape. Got some more clay. I can make some more if I need to. My food situation's going okay. I actually got some extra gravel. That's pretty good. Let's see, let's just put some of this stuff away. I'm trying to keep my inventory relatively clean. Let's put this in the bio chest. While I was um, gr getting some gravel, I did a little bit of mining as well. So we have a couple resources. We've got some uh, Certus Quartz, some Osmium, 19 iron, 27 copper, and then some tin. I need to get an upgraded, uh, upgraded tool here so I can get some aluminum. I'm going to try to make some aluminum brass so we can make some cast, but uh, it's going to be a little bit. I do need to make another axe. I'm going to go out here and chop these trees down while we're letting that stuff smelt up. Let's get a little bit of cobble. also need to get a farm started here pretty soon, so I, I guess I'm going to have to figure that out. I need to get a bucket, though. I can make a clay bucket, I think. Let's take a look here. Bucket. I think I can make a clay... Yeah, so I can make an unfired clay bucket. I think it's single use though, so we have a little bit, we have some options there. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's sleep through the night. I'd like to get at least this smelter array built, or um, Tinker Smeltery built by the end of today's episode. But let me grab a little bit of wood. I might have to go AF, or not AFK, off camera again. Let that work. You know, some of these things, sort of at the beginning of a series, man, they take a while. So you just gotta sort of let them let them take their course. You know, we can't, we don't have any like super smelting ability, or we can't smelt like tons and tons of items or anything like that quite yet. So we'll just keep gathering some basic resources. I died. 
I guess I should uh, make sure we <laughs> operate in the realm of full disclosure. I died. I was down mining, and I made the cardinal Minecraft mistake. I mined a block that was right. I was standing on it. I'm like, oh, that's a piece of iron. So I mined it, and I fell through a hole. There were mobs down there all over the place going crazy, and uh, they shot me. Yep, so I'm, I was dead. I was not happy. But I got my, all my stuff back. You know, there is the gravestone mod in this mod pack, so you don't really lose anything. You just got to get back to your gravestone. All right, I think there's another tool I want to make. Let me grab a couple more sticks, and let me get some cobble. I think I can make a sickle. C S Y C no C Y C uh, S I C K yeah <laughs> that's how you spell it so I can make a stone is it any cobblestone yeah so I can make one of those and then I should be able to go out here and clear up some can I do leaves with this I can nice okay and then we'll just clear out some of this grass we can get some some seeds. There's water right there, so I could kind of cheat my way into a farm, which is probably what we'll end up doing. I need some wheat. i got to get food source under control. Right now I'm living on animals, but you know how it works. Eventually you sort of clear out all the animals in an area, and then you're kind of stuck. So, yeah, eight seeds. We're getting there. Let's clear out a little bit more. Let's grab up all these saplings. I need to get a better organized tree farm as well. I don't like just having those things randomly placed. And we've got to sort of kill some time while that grout is smelting up into seared bricks. Okay. The only problem with this farm is those bees, man. They sting you. <laughs> but I was, I was like running around getting stung by those crazy bees. What is all this stuff I just got? Coffee beans, stuff like that. Okay. Okay. I'll just grab this stuff up over here. Okay, now we have sort of like an area that we can start working from. There's another apple. So we got a couple apples. Okay, so how do I want to handle this form? I think what I'm going to do is make a clay bucket. Because just one bucket of... of uh, what's the word? Water? <laughs> yeah, that's the material that I'm talking about. Just one bucket of water is going to go a long way to be able to get a farm going. Alright, that's done. Now I wonder... Can I... What can I burn? Oh, here. Can I burn that, maybe? Is that going to be enough to get it done? If not, I'll burn this sword as well. Then we'll have a bucket. We'll be able to get a farm started up. Man, I'm worried about how long this episode is. I might... I think... I think what we'll do... All right, let's go get a bucket of water. I know this is, like, single use, but that's okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's go over here. We want to sort of be away from those bees if we can. So let's see, maybe we clear out some of this area here, sort of get ourselves a more sort of flat spot that we can build some stuff. And I think what we'll end up doing, let's put the farm, how about we just start it right here? Let's put this bucket, oh it is not maybe one use. Okay, it's still around, that's pretty handy. Okay, I'm going to clear out some more of this, I need to make a hoe. So I've got uh, canola, I don't know if I really need that, coffee I don't think I need. Um, I think I got some rice, which is pretty handy. I can get some, make some stuff out of rice. Let's take a look here in our chest. Yeah, we've got some rice, a couple rice seeds, more coffee. We can put that in there. Canola, we can put that in there. There's some industrial hemp from Immersive Engineering. I don't know if we should plant any of that. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just put some of this stuff away. Trying to maintain our inventory. We should go ahead and make ourselves a hoe while we're in here, like so. Let's go over here. I don't need three. I just need two. Let's make a hoe. Perfect. Okay. And then let's go out here and see if we can't get something started. Got to get something started. One, two, three. There's some worms. Those are good. One, two, three. We need to go back one more. clear out this little bit of dirt and then we'll go like this. This is how I always do it uh, because I'm not very good at counting. <laughs> and then it's easy just to fill in the center. So 
some worms. Man, that's, those give like a bone meal effect, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's our farm. Let's get some of this wheat planted. Let's just plant it like this. We're okay. We we don't need to try to get it to grow faster than it needs to. There we go. And then I've got five worms. So let's put those guys. There. Put some worms down. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Let me do a little bit of farming. I might go see if I can get some more seeds. I probably want to get a, get some more wood to make sort of like a an area around here. I need to clear up some more dirt. Let me just do a little bit of clean up space around the base while we're waiting for all this stuff to smell. I mean, it's still taking care of business. We're almost done. Let me do a little bit of work and I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I think we're ready to make a couple pieces parts here. So let's get some Tinker Smeltery uh, items going. Let's get two faucets we'll start off with. That should be good. We need a couple drains. Whoops. Like that, right? That's a drain. We're going to need another one. So let's go like so. Alright, two smeltery drains. We need a controller, which I think is just like this, right? A smeltery controller. Yep. Alright, what else do we need? We need a tank. Um, how do I make the seared tank? I always forget that guy piece of glass in the middle yeah oh I need some some sand oh, I don't have any let's go grab a piece of sand real quick from over here I got my little farm fired up here I made a dark oak fence around it I've got my trees going on over here everything's looking pretty good pretty happy with what we've got going on we're starting to make a house into a home or whatever it is that you say <laughs> something like that so let's go back here and we'll get this thing smelted up and while we're doing that let's let me see. I'm out of coal. Here, let's go this and this. Hopefully that's enough. I think it will be. Okay, and then we're going to make... We have to make some actual bricks. So let's start off with... There's 16, and there's 32, and then we'll go like this. There's 48 bricks. So, now I know some of you are going to be like, I don't understand why he always does this, but I, I definitely like my corners in these smelteries. I know you don't have to have them, but we're going to put them in. And we're let's just do a 5x5. Five five. Because we don't need that much to actually get ourselves a, a little, little thing going on here. Okay, let's get our drains. So we're going to put a drain here and a drain here. And then we'll put our controller in the middle, like that. And we got two faucets. Let's do faucet here, faucet here. Oh, we haven't made casting tables. Now we can do that. It's not a problem. And then let's go make our tank really quick, and we'll make a couple tables. Let me see. There we go. So let's make a tank. Nope. These. Yeah, like this. Seared tank. And then we need one of these. Casting table. And we might as well make a casting basin. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, let's see. Let's see what we've got from here. All right. So let's go over here, and we'll put our tank here on the side how about right there that should work and then we've got a casting basin we can put here and we've got casting table we can put there and then it's just a matter of filling out the rest of this thing okay now that should have made a thing yep smeltery done now I don't know if we can maybe if we convert all of these like that I think we'll be able to make one more row. And that'll, oh, that'll give us a little bit more space. Okay. So we obviously need to make some more deals there. But, man, that's that's pretty good, right? That's We're, we're doing all right. Okay. So I'm going to have to get some lava. And I don't know. What are my options for a tank? Is there, like, any tanks I can make that are super easy? Multi-tank, seared tank, quantum tank, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh, my goodness, that's mechanism stuff. Yike. Okay. Deep residence, iron, resonating plate. Furnace, resonating ore. Okay, I haven't seen any of that. 
fluid tank from Ender IO, glass, iron, iron bars. Yeah, maybe we can make one of those. I mean, it's sort of getting into Ender IO, but eh, not really. We need some. So we need six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then a piece of glass. Yeah, we might be able to do that because we're going to need tons of oil or tons of lava. All right, let's see. Now, in all my mining, I haven't really found any lava. You know, I think maybe we'll just call this first episode here. I mean, we're starting, right? Slow and steady. Next episode, we're going to try to get a bunch of lava in that tank. We're going to try to see if we can't make one of the Ender IO tanks so we can go get a bunch of lava. See if we can't get some stuff smelted up. And then we're going to start working on a Coke oven. And then I think we're going to be rolling right along. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from the age of engineering, where we got a farm, we got some trees, and we got a tinker smeltery. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.